headlines. Yeah, huh? she's got some headlines. Lisa, come on in and tell us what's happening from the Howard. Lisa Glassberg takes shits at work. All right, Lisa. Hard-working reporter. Trying to make a buck. Go ahead. <laughs> what do you got? Yeah. Oh, a surprise 40th birthday party for Sal, the stockbroker, yesterday. Today is his actual birthday. Yeah, Did you I, I, not I, go to Sal's party? No, and I'm fucking livid about it. Why? <sighs> Do I want to open this up? Let me just think this through. Uh-oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I, perp- I was going to bring this up on Monday because I learned of it last week. Uh-huh. But because it was a surprise party for Sal. You couldn't say anything. I didn't say anything. But what it is, is that, from what I understand, Sal's got this buddy, this financial advisor who you've heard about. Yes, we've talked to him. Who decided to call up Rick's and say, you know, and Rick's is run by Lonnie, and Lonnie's a friend of ours, and Lonnie is a good guy. And, we and do he'd anything. do anything for us, yeah. So he calls up and says, hey, Sal's having a birthday. I want a birthday party, a surprise party for Sal. Now, again, Sal doesn't know about this. No, because it's a surprise to him. But his friend, and even something happened with Gary and this guy, the friend, who like called Gary one night in Vegas and said, hey, Gary, we're having a party for Sal over at Rick's. Why don't you come over and uh, hang out with us? And then Gary got there. and It was... Uh, it, 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 there was no party. And Gary, what happened with this, what this, this situation? Well, there do, were you two know things. I mean? do you know why I'm upset? Because, I mean, he can't call over and make yeah. parties, for free parties for Sal. Well, there are two things that happened. First of all, I, was, I just happened to be out in Vegas doing something, and this guy contacted me, and he said, hey, we're out there for Sal's 40th birthday. You know, come on by and have dinner. And I said, I can't come by. And he goes, well, we're doing something at Rick's later. Can you stop by? So I get to Rick's at, like, 11 o'clock. The guy and his fiance are there. No Sal and his wife. An hour goes by. He goes, oh, they texted. They're just finishing dinner. Half an hour late. They're late. They're on dessert. So after two and a half hours, I left because Sal never showed up. And when I saw Sal and his wife the next day at the pool, they said, we never had any intention of going. We told them we were never going. But the weirder thing was Ronnie told me the guy had called Rick's in Vegas, said, hey, it's Sal's birthday. We want to come by. And Lonnie said, that's fine. I'll, uh, I'll comp you guys your first round of drinks. Then the guy called back and said, Gary's coming, and, and I think he might have even insinuated that I wanted some whole setup. Right. That I didn't know anything yeah, about. Yeah, that, Sal. That's crazy. Sal, I'm getting upset. But, uh, you know, is Sal responsible for this? Does Sal know what's going on? Uh, I don't know. But I, don't, I want it stopped immediately. Because I know Richard was sending out invitations. Was uh, yeah, How were you involved I, in this? I helped out, too. But and, who are you to start asking well, Lonnie for free parties? No, Lonnie has asked us. He, he loves no, doing I, I know. Do you, know why Lon- Do you ever figure out in your small mind why Lonnie asks you if you want a party? Do you ever figure out why? Why, why does Lonnie want to give you well, a Well, because he loves you. Ah, because he loves me. And what does he expect you to deliver? What? He just, I, we what do just wanted to do wants? something nice for Sal. He, well, no, no, he likes when he gets mentioned on the, it's quid pro quo. Mm-hmm. I don't want quid pro quo. Unless it's your quid pro quo. That's right. Well, you were invited to. I though. heard. I don't want you making free parties using my name on, uh, for your free party. Okay? Mm-hmm. Got it? Well, and, and, and Sal's advisor. I don't want him calling people and inviting them down to Rick's, and then Sal's not even there. No wonder he has no fa- financial yeah. problems. He's getting everything for free. Yeah. Sal, do you know anything what's going on with this? Have you said anything to your buddy? What happened when you guys found out Gary was brought down there and you had no intention of being there? When we were in Vegas, I, told, I made it perfectly clear. He's a great guy, but I made it clear that I wasn't going to go. My wife didn't want to yeah, go. Yeah, but then he called Gary anyway. Right, and I discussed it with Gary. and I Did you discuss it with him? Well, your financial advisor. Uh, no, I discussed it with Gary. Well, why but why would discuss it with Gary? Why didn't you discuss with him that he's not supposed to do that? that I, I, I don't. I don't want that. I was I'm getting mad at you. I, I'm with you, and I'm hearing you loud and clear. No. I wasn't aware. Sit of Sit him down and say, you "Don't." Got it. He's not allowed to call Ricks and 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 create parties. Right. And and situations where you're supposedly going to be there when you're not going to be there. He's a really good guy. His, his, I'm sure his intentions were good, guy. but I, I'm yeah, aware. I'm of How many fortieth birthday parties is Lonnie supposed to throw for you? None. I didn't ask for it. That's right. And, and, and he's a really good guy and all that other stuff. But, but the fact of the matter is he's using my connection absolutely. with Lonnie I, I to see throw that. you a free party. I see that. Why doesn't he throw you a party where he has to spend some money? Yeah, that why would mean he something. give you a party? I gave you the fucking party. Thank you. Fuck off. <laughs> and get your friends in line. All right. He's a really good guy. Get and your fr- do you I don't care. I, I don't care if he's a good guy. Right, right. Tell him no more free parties in your name or my name. You well, I, I mean, I have to you take... Too. Uh, yeah. You too. You take a lot of it. I want to take a lot of this, Good. too, because I help You too. Fuck off. Too. 
So no more parties. Okay. You let me know. I, I, all of a sudden, I get this invite. You can come to a party, a free party. Yeah, I saw the invitation. Yeah. Well, if, stop, but, stop using people. We talked about... Don't use what? Lonnie. We talked about what? Lonnie no. runs a business. Go in there and pay like anybody else. You want to have a party, you pay for it. But I wouldn't have been upset if you, you know, when you found out, if you would have said, don't I, have well, this party. Well, I found out two days ago. Well, no, I sent you an invitation Yeah, about I didn't a know what ago. it was. I had to find out from some other people around here. And you should know better. How does he, the invitation doesn't say come to the party that Lonnie's throwing. It's, it was a scores, if you're gonna throw a party or, for I mean, Sal, a Rick's if you're going to go to a party for Sal. You have to pay. You pay. That's your buddy. You want to throw parties. I throw parties for people. I don't Thank God only eight people showed up. They were carrying on about there wasn't a big turnout. Yeah. I use more, more freeloaders for Lonnie to pay for. I don't want to use my connections and say to people, give me free stuff. I've never operated that way. I'm always up front about it. You're not being fair to me. You want to come to me like a man and say, listen, I want to have a party for Sal. Would you mind, Howard, if I called Lonnie and discussed it with him? And I would have said to you, you know, you're, you, Lonnie feels pressure to do stuff for free. You realize you're pressuring him. Because he thinks he's pleasing me. Oh, I never mm. put any pressure on him. Oh, no. I, I never strong armed him or nothing. <laughs> you understand the guy feels pressure? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. So he's got to go and pay for your liquor, your booze, and then and then everyone's a hero. They had a party for Sal. And I suspect you guys just want to go to Rick's for free, so you use Sal as the excuse, and same with your friend there. I, I wouldn't go that far. Right. Well, what? I'm going that far. <laughs> I'm going that far. Because why else would he tell Gary you're going to be there when you're not going to be there? Right. Well, originally, uh, right. Uh, originally, I, I was going to be there, and then yeah. I decided against it. But I didn't know. Yeah. And then Gary made me aware that he never told him I wasn't coming. Right. And I will address right. it to him. Yeah. So something's going on. And I'm sure he's a nice man. I'm not saying no, but I just want you to put a lid on the free Rick stuff. Yeah. I mean, he really no. shouldn't. He has no relationship to this show. How can he? How can he call anyone? A party? I guess you got Richard involved. Yeah, he's a mutual friend of Richard and right, myself, and we friend. do we yeah, do a lot of me, stuff. Tell all your friends, and Richard, I'm telling you, mm -hmm. don't be arranging free parties with Lonnie. Got it. Okay. Don't wheel and deal behind my back. You got it. You, and don't you, invite me to strip clubs. <laughs> you could invite Robin to a strip club. <laughs> no, I, I don't want to be invited. They invited me to She that pulled party. me aside and said... Oh, here's she, your advisor. Yeah, Rich. Rich, hey. no more arranging parties at Rex. It's over for you. Well, well let me. Let me I don't know you. I don't know anything about you. But that's Howard. You're not. You don't have accurate information. Go ahead. Um, I didn't get anything for free other than a club soda in Vegas. Mm, when that's not the way I heard. True. That's not Rich, true. Rich, that's not true. He comped all our drinks. You didn't pay a nickel. Um, I think I had. Uh, no, I. I'm just I, saying I, that he comped the drinks, and he was expecting. He had a whole table. He had a table for twenty waiting, because he thought twenty people. This is what Ronnie told me. I just showed up to a party. Ronnie told me that you called him, and you were expecting a party of fifteen to twenty people, and that's no, what that, that's what Lonnie had cleared out and ready to treat to drinks. Not, not in Vegas, absolutely not. You're wrong. We sat at Rich. We sat at a table with you. Your fiance, my, my, myself, and my friend, and there was no one up at this long table. Why do you think we had that big table? He thought a lot of people were coming. All right, but I, and meanwhile, I, I, Sal was never coming. But, 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 but Gary, that can't be true because there weren't fifteen people in Vegas. But whatever he thought was coming, he had a large table. But, but Rich, because this has freaked me out since that night, because I, I actually enjoyed talking to you. Sal's wife told me she told you three days before, and every minute of the trip. They were not coming to scores, yet we sat at that table, and you said, oh, they're finishing dessert, they'll be here in a few minutes, and Christine said, we never had any intention of coming. What is that about? That, that, is, that is not true. Sal was trying to right. make, make an effort to be there, and he absolutely said that he thought he might be able to come. I would never take advantage of anybody's relationship. So, Sal, are you lying to me now? No, I'm not lying to you. And Sal, you're lying. No, I'm not. Rich Who's is explaining lying? it. Rich is explaining it exactly right. How For three days, it? Richard was asking us, and at the last minute, I told Rich at that day that, look, Christine's uncomfortable with this. She wants to just relax here. And then Richie said, fine, let's play it by ear. Let's see how the day goes. I go, but I'm not going. But the days so, prior, so, well, the days prior when Rich contacted Gary, Rich was accurate. Rich was, how come when he got there that night, he didn't just say, hey, listen, Sal and Christine are not coming? I don't know. 
But uh, everything else that he did contact well, you about. Why didn't he tell the truth? Ask him. I don't know why. Rich, why didn't you tell the truth? Sal and Christina weren't coming. You knew no, that. It wasn't. No, there was it, it, the way it left at dinner. Dinner was running very late, and there were a couple other people in the party. Right. And it, to me, it seemed like that there was a possibility that a possibility going to go along with it. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I thought that they were coming. All right. Listen to me. I like you, Rich. Rich, I don't know you. You seem like a very nice guy. I'm telling you, I'm telling Sal, I'm telling Richard. Lonnie is a friend of mine who enjoys this show and would do anything for this show. Asking him for free anything is taking advantage of the guy. Because he has right. to do it. In his mind, he thinks he's doing me a favor. Right. So what you're really doing is cashing in on my relationship with this guy. You know, I put scores on the map, and he's very grateful for that. And we also talk about Rick's Cabaret. He's very grateful to me. And what he ends up doing is being very gracious to the people who work with me. And I had to set Ronnie, the limo driver, straight on this, and now I'm setting you guys straight on it. Stop taking advantage of the guy, because that's what you're doing. All of you. Not just you, Rich. Right. Uh, no, so there's a, there's a lot of guys around who take advantage of my relationship with Lonnie. And okay. I, don't, I don't want it going on. There will be no more free anything. You come to me if you want something free, and I'll arrange it for you. Okay. You understand? Absolutely. I, you know, my intention was to have. Yeah, I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't know your intention. Okay. Well, I didn't hear what his intention mm. was. No, I, I'm. I, I, I assume that they were going to invoice me for the party, and oh, I was prepared okay. to pay for it. Well, I'm going to have. Then I will have him invoice you. I mean, he, this guy, Rich has been. Rich, would you like an invoice from Lonnie? Absolutely. Is that what you're saying? I'm, you want to pay for Sal's party? Absolutely. All right, it'll be I, done. I, I thought that I would be paying for it. Mm -hmm. You really did. I Richard, said, Richard, did you think Lonnie was going to charge you for the party? Was there any impression that Lonnie was going to charge for the party? I know he usually doesn't. Right, for I stuff know. Like of this. course not. Rich, he's not going to charge. Right. You see, they, they, because he wouldn't do that. He thinks he's doing me a favor. And Richard, how could you do that? I mean, yeah, forget you this guy, know Rich. better. Yeah, what, what's with you? Well, I mean, I did talk with Gary about it, you know, before well, Gary's we sent a buffoon. the invite. Gary's going to end up getting you fired. <laughs> Gary's a buffoon. <laughs> Every time. Gary is brainless. <laughs> but Gary's my Gary, Gary's gonna in a year he's gonna go produce Regis or one of these shows or start his own new show and we'll see how he does. But I trust Gary's right. judgment well, on stuff, that, so that, I, I so wanted Gary, to ask So Gary him told you it was thought. okay, it was no problem. How did you approach Gary? Okay. I don't even remember having the conversation with him. I said, Richard, this is okay for you to do. I, I I went to you before I sent the invites out and said, well, Why are you is always thinking cool on Gary? Don't you know what to do? Don't you know what to do? Because Gary, you don't know that the reason you're getting this for free is because of me, and that you're just using someone. You're using Lonnie. You don't know that. I mean, I would. How many people in your life have given you anything for free? Zero. How many club owners in New York, Kansas, or anywhere have given you something for free? Zero. Why do you think all of a sudden there's a guy who owns a major strip club in in Manhattan wants to give you a free? Blown out party, free strippers, lap dances, drinks, a whole works, food. Why all of a sudden Richard Christie from Kansas is getting this? Why do you think? Because Douche. Of, Cause Cause of what? Because of me. So why won't you so come to me? When would it occur to well, you? Well, I don't want to bother you with this stuff. Th that's right. And what well, did you say to Gary? I just said, um, you know, we're planning this thing at 1.30. Is it okay? Should I send out the invites? I just want to make sure it was cool. Mm. Well, Gary doesn't know his own... He, he he doesn't know his left from his right foot. Howard, did you get despite the that he was at Adelphi and was given the Clemens <laughs> Award or whatever the fu what is the Clemo award? Clemo. Clemo Award the Bubba Clem the Bubba, Clem the Bubba Clemo award. award the fact Howard. that he got the Clemo Award doesn't mean a thing to me because the Clemo Award it, I could wipe my ass with the Clemo Award you understand I think they did that before they handed it that's to that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I stop stop the nonsense. I would have been happy to Don't just take, take Sal out to Del Frisco's or something. I, right, that's, that's why, what you should have done. Well, that's why when well, I well, sent the invite out, the idea yeah. for Ricks. Yeah, how, how did, did you out of all up? the places in New York? How did you figure? You would have taken him to Del <laughs> well, Frisco's, yeah. but he wound up at Ricks. Yeah. We've done a lot of Howard TV at Ricks. We've yeah. done. We produced a lot of segments, a lot of bits. We've incorporated Ricks into that. And, yeah. and Lonnie always, because of you, Howard. Thank you. Always yeah. extends a hand to us. So he's doing. got to a point where that because. He feels he has to. Okay. And I've been trying to say all along, Lonnie, you don't owe us anything. He doesn't. He's been very grateful. Right. And, you know, I, being I, that I, do you see me at Rick's? I don't go. You know why? I don't want to take advantage of the guy. He's a good guy. 
We don't want to take advantage of him, of him you either. You are. I know. That's I'm, what I'm, I'm telling I'm you. I'm well aware of it. All right. And all, all right, everybody's intentions. Over. Everyone's intentions were good. Uh, and, yes. And, I know all of your intentions are good. You right. always have good intentions, and yet things go horribly wrong. <laughs> I can see that. Right. That's pretty sad when all I mean, you're a grown man, and all your intentions are good, and everything goes wrong. I said my friend's intentions, Richard right. Christie and Rich right. Rockwell. You're good friends. Maybe it's time for new friends. No, not these guys. Yeah. Never, I wouldn't get rid of these don't two. Don't get rid of those two. <laughs> but the other thing with Rich, no. Rich said he fully planned on being invoiced for the party. Yeah. Uh, if, R- since he was when? planning it with Richard Christie, did Richard Christie... Rich, did, did you ever you hear anything about... Invoiced? Did you plan on getting invoiced? Were you going to split? No, no, no I didn't plan anything. on that. And, and when you do a party, you don't go into it blind not knowing what the invoice is going to be. Well, South's financial advisor says always go into it blind. <laughs> <laughs> not knowing what the invoice is going to be. No, listen, we, we had set up, there was, we, I told them that there would be, you know, to send out the invitations in advance, which I assume, Howard, you got an invitation, is that right? Uh, yeah, I got an invitation. So you saw that it was going to be at Rick's two months ago. And, and I, did and I didn't stop it? it because Sal was having a surprise party. And believe me, I didn't know you were involved. But we no, would have ha- happily moved it if so, you but, weren't comfortable. No. No, stop so, putting me in this position! I'm yeah, not the police. Th- Use your fucking head is what I'm saying. Use your fucking God-given brain. <laughs> no, but it, so why the funny, fuck Rich. do I know how to use my brain and you don't? But well, you well, said well, to well, ask. Well, I should have asked you. Why well, don't you use your head? Track. You don't have to ask anybody. Don't do things that are stupid. And the things you're supposed to run by Gary are the things you want to do on the air. What is it, Ron? Here's Ronnie uh, Mund. Go ahead. So Richard came to me. Yeah. And he said to me that this guy, Rich, who I don't know from a hole in the That's wall. That's South's financial advice. Right. So you met me a bunch of times, Ron. No, I didn't. Anyway, okay, um, okay, he said to me that Rich wanted to throw a party for Sal for 30 to 40 people originally. Right. 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 And I said, are you crazy? Do you remember what happened when I threw a party at Scores years ago and invited like 50 people? I almost got fired here. I said, what are you thinking, even with that, to invite 30 or 40 people? Remember that we had that conversation? Yeah. I said, you better cut it down. If you're going to do this, you better cut it down to like 15 people. 15? Two? What? Zero people? Yeah, I understood, but I didn't know what was going on. You know, you know, Lonnie, like, right. always wants to throw a party. I mean, he throws parties for me, but, you know, I have a working relationship with Lonnie because of Howard, but I work for the club. I do a lot of promotion, which I'm doing this weekend. <laughs> and I still said that, you, you know, you got you got to... Cut it down. So what, or, happened when or Ron, even, what happened when Ronnie said to you there might be an impropriety here? Well, the, the, I, I knew there wasn't going to be 30 or 40 people. I mean, nobody during the week. Uh, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm getting bored with this. And, and then the, the thing with, with Vegas, with, with Sal also, yeah. Ronnie calls me. He goes, do you know anything about this party in Vegas? I said, no, what are you talking about? He goes, well, this financial guy of... of uh, of Sal's called and, and said that, you know, there's a big party in Vegas and we want to come to Rick's. I said, well, I don't know anything about Why is it. Why he now, calling? I have Who no idea, dude. I, I don't know. Hey, He's Ronnie, arranging and you, and parties. And you, don't, and you don't call the drivers when you're in Vegas for other reasons to get free rides to and from the airport? What are you talking about, dude? I had what what, I what, about? a free driver. But wait a second. Rick's, I don't know. Rick sends a car for me because I'm working for them, dude. No, when you're not working for them. I, that's the only time I go to Vegas. That's the only reason. Yeah, and I was in Vegas a week uh, last week with Howard, and I was I had his driver, okay? Because I was doing things for Howard. That's what are you what talking about, free drivers? That's what I was told, that you called the Yeah, but Rich, Rich, Rich. I called who? I called who? You called the drivers to pick you up. Yeah, because... You're at. Yeah, exactly. I called the driver to pick me up because I'm doing work for Howard, you idiot. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. You don't have to personally attack me. I'm not well, well, you're attacking me, moron. No, not personally. I'm calling up for free drivers. Who am I calling? Tell me who I'm calling for a free driver. The driver was working for me. I call why Rick's. Is he I, Rick's I don't have to call Rick's. But Rich, Rick sends a call for Rich, me because I'm working for them. Rich, what are, what are these parties? I don't know why you. Why is he you, investigating you Ronnie? Don't even, you what don't has even, he got to do with what Ronnie does? You, yeah, Rich, Ronnie's you don't even with, work with me. I don't even know. I don't yeah, even what know. Yeah, what do you what? got to do with this fucking show, man? What are you attacking me? You're telling me I'm attacking you? Well, Ronnie calls calling, for cars. Who am I calling for free drivers? Tell me. I said that I was told by By who? By the, one of the drivers. I don't know. What driver? Name. Yeah, the free driver you got from Rick's to drive you over there. You stupid ass. No, we yes. Paid for the drivers. Yes. All right, all right. Driver, Thank driver. you. Ronnie, we paid for the driver. No, you didn't. Absolutely. No, you didn't. Absolutely. Right, no, let you me, didn't. Let me, let me get this straight here. All right. Listen to me. Well, everybody. Sal. Got it. You got friends. Maybe you got other friends who call Rick's and say they want to arrange parties. I don't know. 
It stops now. Got it. Sit down with your people and tell them no more off the Howard Stern show. Well, this is... This and, is and, and Richard, come on, use your brain. You don't have to come to You know what's right and what's wrong. You know when you're getting something for nothing. And you know why. Well, I asked. Now, I owe Lonnie a favor. You understand? I'm the one who owns Lonnie a favor now. Now, I got to make sure Lonnie's taken care of. You guys are wheeling and dealing. I don't know this guy on the phone, this Rich. Rich was the guy when you... I, I don't know him. Right, personally. Correct. I don't know him. You know him. Set him straight. No more parties. No more mentioning Howard. No more, uh, we want to set up a party for Sal, and Sal's not there. We don't even know if Sal's coming. I want this all straightened out. I don't hold this guy Rich on the phone responsible. I hold you He's responsible. He's not even in your... No, I don't even know him. Yeah, he doesn't work here. You have nothing yeah. to do with him. And Lonnie doesn't know what he's supposed to. He, Lonnie will do anything for anyone on this show. Yeah, you know, you're right. He's a good guy. He's a good-hearted guy. great guy. He loves what we do. He, you know, he listen, he likes the access and all that. Did you have a good party? Mm. Thanks to yeah yeah absolutely the party was good yeah you liked it thanks you liked you. the party thank you, I Howard. threw you yeah thank you Howard no these fuckers didn't throw you a party no they did no I did I know threw don't, you don't mistake they, who threw they, you that they printed out a mm. little piece of paper that should have said we're going to go behind Howard's back oh, there's Sal look at the at party you. with Whoa. the girls and he's all happy and he's smiling wow. You look very happy. Girls are in their titty dresses look at that it looks yeah. like a free look at the giant birthday cake who paid for that Lonnie. Yeah, Richard didn't go to a bakery. Richard, who paid for that cake? I didn't know there was even so going to be cake, a cake. When a cake that size rolls out with Sal's name on it and a happy birthday. Oh, my God. And there were two naked, half-naked women giving it to him. <clears throat> Do, did you ever say to yourself, gee, how did this all come about? Well, we were going to buy a cake. Oh, but, mm. oh. but I they don't, didn't. Well, I don't, maybe, he, maybe Rich did. I don't know. Rich, I don't did know. you buy that cake? Um, I did not. I, I did asked not. Lonnie for Invoice? the name of his vendor to buy a cake, and he said no, that their in-house chef will prepare a cake for 15 people. So the in-house chef says to you, Rich, I'll prepare an in I'll prepare a cake. You don't need to spend a dime. Why, Rich, I don't know who you are to Lonnie. How come you think Lonnie did that for you? I Why presume you? because Sal is connected with the show. Oh. But again, the Oh, Sal Howard is con That's why. So you felt comfortable Howard talking to Ron Lonnie about a free cake. Well, no, Howard, mm -hmm. it's not my, it wasn't. To so when Lonnie said to you, don't worry, thing. I will take care of the cake, you're like, okay, fine. No, 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 I can't say that. I said, right, listen to me, this has got to stop. Wait, 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 wait. It's got to stop. Hey, 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 what time of the it. day is this party going on, Howard? I don't know. What, what time, time of the day? Happen? It happened at uh, roughly 2.30. So that's extra for Lonnie because he's bringing in girls that wouldn't ordinarily oh, yeah. be there Robin, Robin, we, at Robin, that the time spent, of the day. It's a private the party. Guy spent, the guy spent a lot of money in, in lap dances. The guys also spent money at the club. It wasn't uh, I want this closed money down. Do you understand, guys? Right. I don't know the guy on the phone. He's a good man, but... And uh, he's doing it. all the talking. Listen no. to this. Well, I'm not, talk, I'm not answering Howard on this. He's, he's right. Lonnie. Howard's right. He's in touch with Lonnie. Everybody's in touch with Lonnie. All of a sudden, everyone has access. All you have to do mm -hmm. when you make this party, this is some party. I'll call Lonnie. Mm -hmm. Glenn's on the phone. He's having a big dinner at Nobu for Hypercheric. <laughs> I want to know if any of you guys want to come. It's free. It's yeah, all free. He's booked the table for 30. <laughs> and look at Jason getting a oh, pole my. dance. Look at that picture. What the hell is going on there? Oh, oh my, oh my God. Hey, Howard, one more question. What did you think when you got the invitation that said Rick's on it? I, you, you, can I be honest with you? I didn't even fucking read it. Right. I get so much email. I'm so involved in this show and working on this show. When I see nonsense, I don't even pay attention to you it. You go right to the next email? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't, even, I didn't even bother to read it. I see the right. name Sal and something I, I immediately delete it from my email. Uh, okay. We ain't going yeah. to John's Pizza for my birthday. That's for <laughs> sure. You're goddamn right we're not. <laughs> Well, at least well, Howard would have been paying for the right. party. He didn't call John's and just say, yes, make me a I bunch know. of he did, he was, I know. It was like, a great take party. Like Artie or Fred, for some reason, they they would never call up Lonnie and say, we need a free party for it's my friend. It's not my place. They, they, they just know. How come you guys don't know anything? And there was one time that we did throw a party for Howard for his engagement, and Robin and I split the cost. That's right. We didn't call anybody. We didn't anybody. call anybody and say, throw us a freebie. How come they know? How come you two maniacs don't know? How we, come you don't know? We know now. What? You, you, know. you knew before. No, you, don't. you don't know. 
You you're all know. of a sudden you're, well, you know something. Well, I think know we know, something? Rob. We've been here for six years, and this was a oh, surprise you must not party. Know because well, no, it, it's the one you don't six know years. thing. You don't you know. You know who was surprised is Lonnie. <laughs> right, Lonnie was surprised with the the Billy had a pet. <laughs> yeah, Lonnie. And what Jeez. is with Lonnie that he listens to knuckleheads like you? Right, and they sent Howard TV as well. Howard, you know that. Well, I that's why we that. got pictures. Oh yeah, how, how'd you but like that? Lonnie's expecting Howard to roll through right. the door. So I don't know who. Well, he's expecting that. Howard to talk about Ricks. Hey, but he's also expecting you to roll through the door. That's mm. why he's even putting on this silly thing. Right. Well, we got it. Thanks. I'm gonna go back. Thank to work. you. I hope you had a good party. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hope I hope I threw you a good party. You did. Thank oh, you very too much. Too bad I couldn't be there. Howard's a sucker, though, right? You, you say it. What I want you to say it. Say it, Sal. You're the first thing from a sucker. Say, it, say Howard's a sucker. I want to hear you say it. No. D say it. No. You, that's what you're thinking. No. How would I, I we think can play you're a Howard. sucker? We can play Howard. No way. Nobody Howard thought that Richard say didn't it, think say it. Say it to my face. Don't be a fucking coward. Say it to my face. Why would I say it? Say would I... Howard's a fucking sucker. I would be no. lying. Say it. No, you're I... not. You know that's what you think. I wait, think wait you're a sucker. Somebody throws me a surprise party to place that. Nah, I'm a sucker. You that, could say it. That we've right. done. Richard, that we've done. The, the innocent I agree with from you. Kansas who sucker. actually thinks that. Say no, he doesn't. Richard, it, Richard does not I say don't that. I feel comfortable saying. Please that. say Howard Stern's a fucking sucker. Howard, you're, you're going to be mad at me if I say, say it. it. Say it. Come on, let me have it right to my face. Don't I want it. it. I deserve it. it. I deserve it. I didn't it. know. I didn't know. I shouldn't call up for free. All of a sudden, he's Jethro Bodie. Please say it. You're smarter than I think. You know your good If you're a real man, you'll say it to my face. Howard, you're a sucker. Say it to me. Say it. Howard, you're a sucker. Thank you for saying it. Now I know what you think of me. I don't think that. No, I just you said it, right? Sal's not man enough to say it. No, uh, no, no, it's not enough. You're man a pussy. Enough. How, how, why would I think you're a sucker? Why? I, because you can play me. You use my name. I play you? I don't play Your you at all. friends call up Ricks. You all, all your buddies. It's, say it's a, how, it's Howard's a sucker. Say I'm it. not Say saying it. it. Liberate yourself. Just get it over with. Get Sal. it over with. <laughs> Howard's a sucker. Good. Howard's now a sucker. You're, now you're being a man. No, not really. Yeah. Fred will never play those two clips ever again. <laughs> no. <laughs> you can play that every day to remind me what these and guys I don't think want of me. Play Salem, it every day. I don't want Scott Salem to take those comments no, and put em. them on sound effects page five. Take, <laughs> take them and do it. <laughs> All right. Rich, you want to say it, too? Howard's a sucker? Go ahead. It's okay. Uh, Go ahead, say it. I, I really don't want to. You could say my it. My intention is never to take advantage of everybody. I'm going to tell you. You could say it. I'm a sucker. Go ahead. Say it. Howard is a sucker. Thank you. Thank you. Now I know what I am. Boy, Rich said it good. Yeah. You said it the best out of anyone, Rich. It. You I said it like a financial yeah. advisor. I might have to, right. I'm going to throw Rich a party at Rex. <laughs> Can I come? Maybe, maybe you take me to lunch, Howard. <laughs> I do. All right, Rich, thank you. I don't know you, but thank you. By the way, real quick, Howard. Yeah. When you when you brought me in and you set me straight about my financial problems. Yes. That I'm a woman, I wear a dress, and I, I can't rule the roost and yeah. hold down. Yeah. Rich Rockland came over my home for about seven to eight hours and helped clean up all my I finances. I know that. I know he's been And you here. should throw him a party. Right. Why don't you thank him by throwing him a well, party? I just want to let it. you know. I want to make you aware that he does uh, listen to you. And I through you, he was extremely generous. Yeah, Rich is a great guy. I know. I know. Well, I know. Well, now he, he got paid back because Lonnie right. threw him a party. Right. right. All right, yeah, Rich. How about a quick plug for my law firm? <laughs> no, Rich, please. I'm, I'm not the sucker you think I am. Thank it's you. Uh, Howard. You just told me to tell you you're a sucker. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm trying not to be one. Thank you. All right. He's all breaking right. the path. And Howard, yeah. from the bottom, bottom of uh, my heart, I don't want thank to you it. for the party. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Goodbye. Get out. Thank you for the, the two party. Of you get out of here. Can I say happy birthday? No, no get out. <laughs> don't Good fucking day. make a mockery of this. I'm not kidding. Look at those two. Three year Richard is really passive aggressive. You know what? Gary always says that about him. Right. But man, that was so obviously mm, yeah. passive aggressive behavior. Did you hear how many times when you said, Do you understand me? He said, But. Yeah. But, 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 but. 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 And then laying it off on everybody else. I asked Gary, I asked Ronnie, I asked. You know, one thing I'm going to say about my guy. Asking, you know you're wrong. You take a guy like Artie, I'll tell you why you stand up. Here's a guy on heroin. <laughs> Low life degenerate, DUI, everything. But he pays. But he pays for whatever it is he does. <laughs> Thank you. And I mean that as a highest compliment. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I would be, I would be mad as, at a friend if I mean, think about you the reality. No, think you about the re think it. about the reality of that. You got a friend that wants to throw you a party, and he goes. <laughs> Well, do you happen to know anywhere where he can get stuff for free? Yeah. <laughs> that everything will be taken care right. of. All I have to do is make a phone call. 
Now, Lisa, was that your first story or your last story? <laughs> it was my first story. Just how it news if they, they get me oh, riled up. killing you. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying you're not doing your job, but you're riling me up. Oh, they're doing their job, then. Right. What, uh... What, what, do, what, do you have Ajita? They're doing their job. Yeah. <laughs> if you have Ajita, Howard 100 News is behind it. <laughs> uh, Justin, you're on in Burlington, Vermont. Good morning, Howard. Good morning. Uh, I mean this with no disrespect, but in many ways you are a sucker. I am. These oh, things, I know these it. Things, these things constantly happen to you from yep. your staff. Yep. And there are never repercussions. I know. Even going back to um, when you were on vacation, the fight week specials. Yeah, there I'm was a sucker. A, a, a lot of instances in which you you could have taken uh, punitive damages against your staff. Yep. You didn't, and you never do. So these guys never. know. Never. I never yeah, do. Go, Even I was Kyle looking at the Howard. mad. I was looking at the Mad Dog Channel. You know, he's already fired some people. Over really? There. Yeah. Me, I never fire anyone. He's no they sucker. Know, can, Is he coming in today? Bit, no. They can go a little bit astray from you, Howard, and they know they'll come in. They'll get slapped on the wrist for 20 minutes, I know. and then they'll, you'll move on. I know. Well, it's yeah, just like Richard. I, mean, I, I hate to say it, Howard, but you are a sucker. Yeah. Oh, Justin, let me tell you something. That's why I made them say it. Richard just now, at the end of that brow beating, said, can I say happy birthday to Sal? He no. doesn't even mind that no. he just got <laughs> who, yeah. who, 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 who broiled on the air. you make an example of? You got, you got a year left, know. hypothetically. I, I, you know what I'm doing? I, I'll be honest with you, Justin. The sucker, that's me, is going to just do his year. And I'm sure there'll be other incidents. And you know what? And I'm just going to put up with it because I'm a sucker. And my guys treat me like shit. That's why I don't feel guilty about leaving anymore. I just changed my whole opinion. I don't care it's, it's that I'm going to leave and those guys are going to be out of work. It's unfortunate they put you in that position where they always take advantage of you and they know they can. They're probably back there giggling right now. Well, there you go. I got to take a break. Your Howard's ex a sucker. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Howard, you're a sucker. Yes, play them all. Oh. Play it over and over again. Howard's a sucker. Play the Howard, game. you're a sucker. What about the guy on the yeah. phone? You got him? I'll, I'll have to ask Scott yeah, for that. That one. was the best one. That was the best one? He said it very Make clearly. Sure. The line of the morning was when Rich asked for a plug for his law firm. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing fake. Howard's a sucker. Thank you. All right. That's why I had him say it, so you could play it for me every day. Howard, you're a sucker. That voice. It's going to haunt me the rest of my life. Uh, Howard, you're a sucker. <laughs> you should have had him do it as Ethel. <laughs> he didn't that use an his, Ethel? That's his Ethel voice. <laughs> Howard, you're a sucker. All right. Thank you, Fred. Howard's <laughs> a sucker. Right. Guys. Howard, you're a sucker. This is not our bad, finest man. hour. It's yeah. usually happy when we come out here and talk so to Chris. Did you have any intentions uh, of The only intention advantage? I had is to do something special for ha yeah. Sal's birthday. That's exactly how I take uh, it. For that's how I'm going to take Sal it. Sal loves Rick, so me and Richie like decided that he would have a lot of fun for his 40th at Rick's. It would have easily taken me to any place else. And I have. Every, and he had, right. every birthday I take him out to a nice dinner. Yep. A nice lunch, but you this know. was his 40th, so, you know. And if we would have done it somewhere else besides Rick's, which would have been fine with me, but it, the show, like, is involved with Rick's, it wouldn't look good to go to a different place, so. But do you, do you, you guys get that Lonnie kind of feels obligated to help you guys out? Well, because we know that Lonnie's the part show. of the show, and, and we incorporate Lonnie um, into the stuff as much as we can, too. Like, you know, we've done Show in the Hallway episodes, we've done other Howard TV episodes. Um, we've pitched ideas to bring in Rick's Girls. So we're, we're real gracious with Lonnie. And, you know, we in six years, we've never had a party at Rick's at all. So I, I haven't been to Rick's in months and months. Yeah. So, you know, but Lonnie's been nothing but good, so we were just under the impression that something like this would be... Lonnie would love it as well. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, yes, it's definitely because of Howard's name. But we knew Howard's name is involved. We knew we were associated with Howard, but we didn't think that Howard would be personally offended. That wasn't our intentions. I know that wasn't Rich's intentions when he threw me the party. And Howard seemed to be really upset with your friend Rich because he's not even a part of the show. Right. And he's, you know, But Rich is a him. good, I'm not good at planning things. Rich is a good planner. He's a good friend, and he just, you know, it boils down to we tried to do something nice for Sal, and we kind of screwed up. 
Less lesson learned. Mm -hmm. Howard, but, you're not a sucker. But you guys, so you guys do understand yeah. what, what, why he's mad and it won't happen again? It won't happen definitely again. Won't. Believe me, it definitely won't happen again. Who the fuck is this guy, man? Fucking ass. Hey, Ronnie. Yeah. So, so you even warned Richard? Well, I warned him about cutting down the guest list. I didn't tell him anything, man. I had nothing to do with planning this, and I knew not. No, no, no one I said knew not to get involved with it at all because I knew it was trouble. So you know, so you agree with Howard that he took advantage of of Lonnie? No, I'm not saying he took advantage of Lonnie. Lonnie's always gracious and wants to have parties for everybody here, and that's got nothing to do with it. But for this guy to call up who's got nothing to do with the show, that's one thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If Richard would have came to me and said, "Oh, maybe," or, well, you know. You think we should have a party for Sal? I would have asked him. I would have talked to Gary. I would have talked to Lonnie. I wouldn't. What does what, what Rich got to do with it? That's what I'm talking about. Who is he? He's got nothing to do with this show. Nothing. And then he tax me. Tells me I called for free drivers in Vegas. I work for them. They send me a car. They don't want me taking a cab there. They have to pay when a cab comes there. They have to pay a hundred dollars a head for somebody to get driven to Rick's. So the guy has no clue what he's talking about. He's full of shit. He's just like Sal because he hangs out with Sal. John Hine, you're the man of the hour with your new page. Uh, what's on the wrap-up show today at 11 o'clock or as close as we can get to it? Well, Howard, Sal went to a surprise party to celebrate his 40th birthday <laughs> Nobody yesterday. was more surprised than me. <laughs> but Richard Sal and his financial advisor found out today that Howard was the one who actually threw the party. Someone told me after I reamed out Richard and Sal and that other guy on the phone... Howard that is a sucker. ...that Richard Christie was crying in the hall? Is Somebody mentioned that he was tearing up. Really? Howard, you sucker. Richard, are you going to cry every time I yell at you? Were you crying out there? Get in here. Now, that upsets me. He seemed not to be affected at all in here. And he seemed to be happy about it. Like a mongoloid. <laughs> Man the fuck up, Brent. <laughs> yeah, like Brent. Get in How here. Is Brent? I've been He's doing all right. I've been in contact with him. Were you crying about it? No. Someone said you looked like you were going to cry. Well, Don't me and Sal were talking. I got a little emotional. Yeah. Why? Just, I don't want to bum you out. Well, if you're going to cry, cry in here. Don't yeah, cry don't cry in the hall. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> I just, if, I, if I can't critique you, you're going to start crying. You're going to make me feel bad. Well, no, I'm not doing it to make you feel bad. I'm not forcing myself to cry. I just, I feel bad. I don't like you to be mad at us. You're crying now, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, you're tearing up. Well, I'm starting to, fuck yeah. It, fuck it! <laughs> you're crying now. I am. But... You, now you're making me feel worse. Why? Because now I'm upset that I upset you to the point of tears. Now you're making me uncomfortable. But don't don't be upset. It's something we did wrong, and I realize, you know, I, mostly I'm crying because I'm upset with myself that we would do something that I would do something that stupid. But you yeah, know, right. but you see, now I feel bad that you're crying. Don't now feel I, bad. Now I got to make you feel better. Don't Stop taking pictures of them. Yeah, that's not helping. <laughs> <laughs> he comes right in with the camera. Uh, <laughs> say <laughs> cheese. <laughs> what are you exactly crying about? Just what hurts you. Yeah. What hurts you? What just, is oh, just that that you're bummed out with us, and, and you true. know other people around here are bummed out about it, and you're gonna kill yourself or anything, aren't you? Huh? No, All of right. course not. Okay. No, and I I love being here, and I, I love you, and I love working for you, and I just, you know, I screwed up, and I'm pissed at myself for screwing up. All right. I'm not firing you. Stop acting like a I girl. I know. Get your shit together. I know. You're in Brent territory now. <laughs> well, not, I'm not really. Not drinking <laughs> Jack Daniels yet. <laughs> Well, that's what we're worried about. Although this I is, need some. That's what we're worried about. This is without Jack Dan. <laughs> I feel bad that he's crying now, you see. Well, I mean, you don't like to see someone cry. I mean, I think it shows Richard has a heart, and he's sorry. He doesn't have a heart. Now he's making me feel bad. I'm the one. He who... should man up so you don't have to feel bad, right? Yeah. Well, why'd you ask me in here, then? I could have cried in my office alone. No, you wouldn't even you know. You shouldn't cry where people can see you and yeah. report back. I need I, evidence. I didn't. Uh, no, I, I was cried with Sal. I was, I was worrying that you were crying out there, and then it made me uncomfortable. And the last thing you want is me uncomfortable. How'd you start crying with Sal? What was I mean? Why would you cry with Sal? 
Um, j- I'd just being bummed out about the whole situation. All right. You know. Right, well, what did you say to him? You, you know, what, what was it you ran out of here and said when you two were talking? Just, you know, that I love Sal so much and I, I wanted to do something nice for him and make it a little... Sp- well, you I, didn't do anything nice for him. Well, I did something nice I know, and you did. And I, But I take Sal out to lunches all the time. We have a great time. <laughs> That's and, what you should do on his birthday. But, we, you know, we figured this would be something a little extra for his 40th that would be nice. Right. And we screwed up, and I'm very sorry. All right. Now, listen, put it behind you. This is upsetting me. That you're going around crying. Well, I wasn't until I came back in here. Yeah. I admit, I felt pretty bad when you called me a sucker. Thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I was out of line. I'm sorry. Now, listen, I like Howard, you. you're a sucker. Thank you. <laughs> listen, I was hoping they wouldn't be able to pull Howard that drop because Fred was playing music behind it. Howard, <laughs> you're a sucker. No, we got it. Listen, <laughs> Mr. Drop Pull over here. Howard, you're a pull drop. Seriously, pull yourself together, okay? I'm I'm very right, together. Get over this. I talked to you about what was wrong. Now you know better, right? Yeah, okay, absolutely. It. Right, stop it. You're but I should weird. have known better before I, I did know. this. But hey, come on. Pull it together. I like you. I like you. I love you, Howard. Oh, I love you, too. Now get out. Okay. <laughs> I love you so much I want you out of here immediately. <laughs>